hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with kavya sama love is wall ultra romantic episode number one reaction okay it is finally here and um yeah kavya sama has been one of like you know my favorite animes uh, since i started and uh, the comedy is where it really shines i reacted to season two before as well and it was like one of my first reactions that i put out on youtube and uh, yeah you know like um it's it's amazing like you know this this is one of those shows which genuinely makes me laugh and you know like comedy in anime is kind of a hit or miss but kage sama nails it completely and oh boy and i can't wait to just see what more shenanigans they get into in this season and uh yeah probably we're going to meet a few new characters from the trailer as far as i could see there were a few new characters so yeah i'm looking forward to them so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number one of Kagya Sama Love is for Ultra Romantic. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Take it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. What the hell? This is how it starts? As always, Chica. Wait, what? <laughs> What's happening? This is the start. And so much chaos. You are. Is someone dreaming this? I think this is a dream. Ocean Festival. <laughs> Continue. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, is she coming here? Nico Ino wants to be soothed, okay. Yeah. Assembly. What's <laughs> Oh boy. But I f Nah. You're lying, Ishigami. Wait, what? <laughs> oh i was like what's happening okay yeah <laughs> okay i really hope some embarrassing songs doesn't start playing This is soothing? What? Oh my god <laughs> Oh yeah Oh my god, this noise. Yeah. Oh no, oh no, this is so embarrassing. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> it's gonna run. If she realizes you're hearing this, you'll be dead. Volume 3 uh, Oh my god oh. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
Oh no! Oh no! Run! You should get me run! Ah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh no, she'll notice that the plug. Oh. oh my god, <laughs> love detective, Chica is here. <laughs> Alright, everyone's here. <laughs> well. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Should realize that. Okay. Oh, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. <laughs> Good boy, Ishigami. <laughs> Look at this guy here, sacrificing himself for... <laughs> but, but you know, we'll sh still realize that he saw, heard everything. Oh. But Oh no Wow I don't think she realizes You fool You fool Okay, the airplane went. I, I, f I feel like nobody here or heard it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Everyone loses. Oh no, oh, both of them loses, yeah. What? Student council members hit home and nothing happened. That was amazing. That was amazing. Smartphone. Oh. Oh yeah, the new phone. <laughs> I suck. Two hours. No. No. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Kaguya. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, on all social media, I think. <laughs> exactly. Two hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll be, that'll be kind of counter... Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Stand red. Wow. Yeah, it. 
immediately yes <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> wow. Three in center. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Kaguya. Yeah. Wait. Opted not to explain. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Wait. Okay, okay, that was an imagination. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> At least you know you have made your spell. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Truth lie. All right, nice. Wow. Okay, he's going to realize what's happening. Yeah. Fake Andrew. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay. She's like, no, don't tell her that. Yeah. Oh my god. Group chat, okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Please don't leave me in oh my god. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Oh no, he's he's doing it. <laughs> yep. Which means <laughs> oh my god uh, okay Oh my god, she's going to act as if she had it. Oh. God damn. What? I don't think so. Well done. Wow. Shirogane loses.
<laughs> oh. <laughs> no one. <laughs> she didn't even respond to them. Ah. Oh. Look on the face of her. <laughs> Whoa, what are those? Pika Fujiwara wants to battle. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, yo! <laughs> I don't think so. Yo. Okay. Uh, I think Chica's going to win. Oh yeah, obviously. There you go. <laughs> You're a <hurting>, girl. <laughs> okay. What? Really? <laughs> wow, the whole student council will participate in. Alright. Yeah. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Reset. Okay. What? <laughs> yeah, okay. Kage Ishigami Fujiwara Shirogane. <laughs> Left handed. Oh no. Oh. So can Ishigami. Okay. Wow. Oh wow, okay. Car is going to <laughs> Oh Rock <laughs> His his whole body kind of True, I forgot about that. She does archery. <laughs> he lost in the beginning. You won't be you won't be facing Chica after this. Okay. All right, I don't know what this is going to Who's going to win here? It seems Chica will win. Yeah, it seems Exactly. Uh, yeah. God, this face. Oh my god. You can't. Okay. 
Oh! <laughs> she doesn't even know. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, yo. Cheater. <laughs> okay. All right. Now you know what this can go either way. Kaguya or Shirogane. <laughs> because she might become nervous holding his I don't know. Like both of them might become nervous or something. Let's see. But but I don't know. This can go either way. Wait, what happened? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> there you go. I don't think that's what's happening here. They're basically blushing. Or, or maybe not. No, no, it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Prolong the match. Wow. Oh, she's okay. I remember when she feels nervous or something, she just does this. Oh no. Just because of sweat. Oh my god. This is sweat. Monster Queen. There you go. A round of applause. Monster Queen. Oh no. <coughs> Elderly builders plug. I, I wasn't able to read that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, why did the why did the quality go re get reduced? <laughs> muscle princess or muscle queen, whatever. <laughs> oh, she got me in chicas. I'm pretty sure everyone knows how that went, that final battle. Okay, let's hear the... Okay.
Okay, these are the new cat. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Sugar is dead. Wow. <laughs> it just drops down. Wow, that was a good song. Wait, how? How did he win? Really? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I was surprised by the end that Ishigami won. Oh, I, I feel like... Okay, never mind. Okay, so this is the first episode of Season 3. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> oh my god. And uh, yeah, okay, so it starts with... Like as always like something crazy you know like chica like does the whole uh like you know kind of feels the peel of the orange and <laughs> it's like an explosion the whole academy falls from the sky <laughs> and yeah that's how it starts all right so the first part of this episode um we get a little bit of ino and uh ishigami so <clears throat> Ishigami, like Ishigami here shows that yeah he's he, he's a really good boy and we can we we, we know we, we already knew that and uh, yeah this this is even more proof like like look at him he he sacrificed himself for uh you know the girl who uh like you know kind of uh was not even looking at him he he just sacrificed himself like <laughs> like such a nobility look like what else can i say you know like like who does that who does that so yeah, here we start with um, Ino coming in and he's like, ah, Ishigami is here. And doesn't even like, you know, acknowledge him, like just goes and sits down and you know, Ishigami is doing his thing. M Miko is doing her thing and uh, yeah, just like, you know, like al always, most probably she puts on the jack of the earphone and switches on the ambient sounds. That was all well and good, you know, like a little bit of ambient sound is nice, you know, like, uh, but unfortunately the plug was uh, a little bit unplugged on. Oh my God, I got a flashback from this. Uh, <laughs> it happened once, but you know what happened? You know, I actually realized that it was actually open. Like I, I caught it quickly. It would have been an embarrassment otherwise, you know, like because, uh, yeah. Like, you know, like at that moment, like you know, at that time, when, the time when I'm talking about, you know, anime was not that prevalent. And, you know, I was like in a public place uh, with the <laughs> earphone jack and I, like, you know, I kind of did a similar thing, you know, and the music started and that's when I caught like, oh my God, it's, it's unplugged. And uh, thank God it did not go to the words, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was able to stop that at that moment. And that's why I said I got flashbacks from this like scene like this is this is one of the most embarrassing thing that could ever happen to people who listen to songs through their earpieces and my god <laughs> so the first one was pretty normal you know like uh it's ambient sounds just nature sounds and ishigami is like ah oh, just some normal background music it's okay it's fine you know, no problem mm, and uh, <laughs> then starts I think after that starts the the camel I think yeah the camel grunting and oh my god the Ishigami was a little bit she was he was like yeah what is this and then the drilling machine sounds and all all of those were okay you know but when the next one started where there's like <laughs> a few <laughs> a few what what were those yeah it's like Two or three people just whispering in the ears that oh you're good you're nice like what what was what were they saying let me go to that part um 
Oh yeah, uh, it's hard, isn't it? Go ahead and cry if you want to. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm on your side. You know, with that, with that, with that Ikemen voice, it's, it's it was like coming, and <laughs> Ishigami is like, "What is this? Why am I here?" And you know what the the most scary part of this thing, uh, like you know, this part was like Ishigami. Like you know, if if she realized that Ishigami acts, has actually heard that. She would probably, I don't know what she would do. I really have no idea what she would start doing. So I was just saying like, you know, I think it would have been the best decision to, for Ishigami to just go away from this place. Like, you know, just take his stuff and just leave. But you know what? Ishigami is a good boy. You know, he's a really good boy. He, like, you know, he, he knew that if someone else comes and, you know, they see her in this, like, you know, like in, in, in this situation, it'll be an embarrassment for her and i'm pretty sure ishigami like you know has had his fair share of embarrassments so he was like yeah i should definitely not let that happen you know like this this will like completely like you know just destroy the like you know like everything around her like, she, she she's probably not going to come to school after like you know for one or two weeks after this if this happened so he like you know he kind of was just you know, kind of moving around there was thinking what to do chica comes in thankfully she stops it at that moment and chica was like wait a minute what was i hearing there's some noise coming and she says oh it was me i'm just you know like just <laughs> it was me uh, like you know like making noises and <clears throat> oh my god and then <laughs> chica goes to her asks her what are you listening to which is like i'm just healing music And, excuse me, and Ishigami actually tries to, you know, like, make her realize that, um, like, oh, like, your headphone jack is kind of, <clears throat> kind of, like, you know, like, uh, not properly set. And uh, she, she brings up Tsubame, I think. Uh, I think that's the name of that girl, uh, the one in the cheering squad who we saw in season two. Uh, the one we, who we got to see in the opening as well, who has, like, a hair color similar to Chika. I think yeah, it's very similar hair color to Chika, that girl. Um, I think that's the girl whose name is Subami. And he starts talking about that, trying to you know like kind of divert the whole conversation. And hopefully like you know uh, Miko would be able to see uh, the Jack. But you know like Miko doesn't even listen to him while Chika is like, oh I'm, <laughs> you know we get a little flashback of her cap, detective cap, and like you know. Uh, love detective Chika was almost coming out. You know, she was continuously asking, "Hey, wh what were you talking about? What cheerleader? What? You can you can talk to me, but <laughs> Ishikami neither Ishikami nor like you know uh, Miko like you know were talking about that. And Ishikami was desperately trying to tell Miko that yeah, <clears throat> the Jack is out. But oh boy, in comes um, Shirogane and uh, Kaguya, and <laughs> Ishikami is like, "What should I do now?" You know, this is this is a complete disaster so he's like all right you know what i'm going to do i'm going to sacrifice myself i'm going to take this for her and <laughs> you know like I, and and he like 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 look at him you know like he he just he sacrifices himself like you know going through that that pain that miko would have gotten at that moment if he did not do that uh, but unfortunately it didn't work by the end of it um he <laughs> like he he starts like a like an i think an anime song or something like that yeah and just hearing it like just blazing the in loudspeakers not loudspeakers but you know uh, because the jack was not plugged in everyone's just looking at him weirdly you know you know it's like ah, what what the hell are you doing ishigami and ishigami is like ah Say whatever you want but i did a good deed today he just like you know like it just takes off the microphone uh, headphone jack and uh, just puts the headphone away and just looking outside into the <laughs> through the window <laughs> and he, he thought that yeah like i was able to save miko from the disaster unfortunately miko didn't even look at his her like you know jack because yeah, but I, I feel like, yeah, it, it is true, like, you know, instead of, like, you know, telling her directly, you know, he did this to actually make her realize what's happening, but obviously, like, you know, who would even think, 
that my headphone jack is actually open. No one would think of it that way. So Miko didn't even realize that. She just started playing it again. And oh boy, it was just... <laughs> it just went downhill after that. Ishikami's like, why the hell did I do this even? You know, like the person I tried to save, she wasn't saved at all. And my, like, you know, like, <laughs> reputation as well is just in tatters. And, you know, like, it's, it was a mess. Ishikami just gets depressed, goes away. <laughs> Everyone else just ignores that completely, doesn't even talk about it. <laughs> Miko is probably never going to play music again after this. <laughs> on the student council, not only on the student council room, ne anywhere. She isn't going, isn't going to play her music anywhere, ever. Probably in her room, she's only going to play it. And that's it. So, yeah, she got PTSD from this, which probably will never heal. <laughs> Alright, uh, that was that. That first part was hilarious. I loved it. Uh, any part that is actually involves Ishigami is just amazing. Uh, okay, the next one where we get to see that uh, Kaguya has gotten his new her new smartphone. So she she's in line now, uh, and you know like she is kind of trying to like you know converse with president, uh, <clears throat> just going like you know, giving messages and uh, yeah. Now here's the thing. Um, Obviously, Kaguya does not know the, like, you know, like, the things about social media. Hayasaka was a bit too late to realize what was actually happening. Because when Hayasaka asked that, wait, did you, like, like, as soon as it came, did you keep, like, did you read it and are not uh, sending the message for one or two hours? And Kaguya was like, yeah, that's what I did. It was too late at that moment, you know. Like, Hayasaka realized, like, yeah, this, like, you know, the damage has been done. So you can either salvage it or it will go completely down. How to salvage it to, uh, you know, like, uh, like for her not to say that, oh, I just read it. If she says that after like, keeping it read for two hours, it's going to go completely downhill because Shiruana is going to put two plus two together. He would realize that, oh, Kaguya doesn't know that this is actually like a, like, and there's like a read feature in the like social media app. So you know, he's going to put two and two together and he would realize that she's lying. You know, she read it from the beginning, but then like, you know, like she's lying about it because she doesn't want that to come out. So that's how it will go downhill. So Hayasaka's thinking like, should I tell her about it? But if she tells Kaguya about it, Kaguya is going to get mad. Kaguya will be like, why didn't you tell me before? You know? And so the best thing to do here, Hayasaka thought that, all right, you know, the best thing to do here is not like you know like stop her from somehow tell like you know telling to shirogane that i read it now you know like if, if that doesn't happen then everything will be fine but no it doesn't go that way so <laughs> like over there shirogane is just freaking out shirogane is like oh my god she has read it why is she not answering what's happened and just completely like you know like in in like in shock while uh hayasaka is also freaking out Kaguya doesn't even know anything as they say ignorance is bliss she's just stretching while K is doing random exercises or whatever yoga or whatever behind them so that's the whole situation so uh, and then Fuji, uh, Fujiwara uh, and um, Miko also like you know sends them a message and Hasaka was kind of fearing that oh and Ishigami also uh, sent a message and uh, uh, Hasek was thinking like what's going to happen if she message like you know replies instantly she would realize that there's like a read fe red feature so thankfully at first that did not happen um, <clears throat> but no okay sorry uh, uh, she, uh, Kawe was going to reply to Miko because obviously Miko you know it's like a serious type of a person uh, so <laughs> Asaka's like, you need to actually reply by the way it came. You know, like first Shirogane, then all the others. So, <clears throat> and that's where she made a mistake. She probably forgot at that moment that Kaga, what Kaga was going to actually say to Shirogane. She was going to say that I saw it now. You know, to salvage the other situation where she should not reply um, uh, Chika and Ino first, she tried to say that reply Shirogane first. And that 
completely backfired. Kaguya like you know wrote that sorry I just saw your message now and here we go Shirogane is an intelligent person he was able to put two plus two together he was like why is she lying that would mean she doesn't know this feature she is new to technology she doesn't know and that would mean that she read it as soon as I sent it to her and was actually just staring at the screen just looking at the message and uh, you know what this was a very good chance of the anime ending you know this episode um if it actually went properly the anime would have probably ended within two or three episodes because shirogana would have confessed and yeah happy ending i guess <laughs> but obviously that's it's not that easy um they came very close you know here but unfortunately stuff happened what actually happened is uh, kaguya saw that um like the red message popped up she realized what's happening she looks at Hayasaka and she's like what the hell are you doing why didn't you tell me and while in, in, in this time you know in this moment uh, Shirogane was able to um oh no no sorry sorry um she did not realize that just a sec uh no what happened she did see wait a minute let, let me go back to that part uh oh no no i remember now okay sorry sorry i i, I was saying uh, uh, saying wrongly okay what actually happened is shirogane was like all right i'm going to elongate this whole thing and i'm not going to tell her so what he basically did is like you know the taskbar she he read it and uh, he said that okay if i try to mess message it back you know um it's uh, like you know it's going to say red so that will be a problem so uh what should i do now i don't know like if there's like uh, if this uh like you know thing was not there at that moment when this manga came out but nowadays i feel like there's like an option in the taskbar as well where you can type it over there and you know like just send it so uh, but i guess you know it was going to like say that red yeah that is going to happen either way but there is a way to actually answer without going into the social media you can just answer it from the taskbar or whatever you call it <clears throat> so yeah he, he's kind of thinking what to do and then he comes up with the idea of giving uh, like you know like, you know giving the message in the group uh, chat so okay here it is if i use the group chat window there will not be any read receipt right like obviously unless and until everyone reads it it wouldn't say read so since it's a group but okay wait a minute what happened here i don't understand this part like um oh um no in student council network it's written have you tweaked your smartphone settings red like it's written red um, for example turned off sleep mode function it's also red and i haven't really done any tinkering if i use the group no that's something else. oh okay okay i think oh i realize what he tried to do here this this is like a little bit of a difficult to understand so basically what she and i did is she, he actually like went to the uh, group chat so that red pops up over there you know and that's how shirogane uh, uh, kaguya was able to like you know see that red message that popped up and she was confused at that moment and then you know messages back again um hey do you want to extension phone numbers please don't leave me on red like this is um yeah this is personally messaging i think and that's when Kagwe realizes okay okay i realize what happened so basically uh the group chat was also like you know everyone read it at that moment uh so it like you know it was written red over there because everyone read it like everyone was just opening their smartphone and just looking at it so since like you know the five participants i think as i saw in the top who were there all of them read it and that's why it was written red and that's why i think uh like you know um like you know kaguya at that moment realized like what is this red like you know thing that's coming up 
and uh, uh, Hayasaka was sweating at that moment. Ino also like you know messages her personally and says that why are you keeping me on red? And <clears throat> that's when the phone call comes in. I feel like Shirogana called it at that moment because she probably he probably wanted to tell that thing to Kaguya himself. So at that moment he called her. And Hayasaka was like, oh, like pick up the phone because Hayasaka wanted to get out of that situation somehow. I think something like that happened. This part was a little bit confusing to understand. But anyways, um, uh, he called her and he's like, all right, I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit, a, a little bit of a secret, you know, like there's like a thing called, <laughs> you know, like the red, but like, you know, thing comes up whenever you've read the message. That's why I've sent you three messages at uh, different intervals and all of them got read at the same, like, you know, like as soon as I sent it, that means you were actually looking at the screen and, you know, like, like and and you were not messaging me you were just staring at the screen so <laughs> kaguya is just like you know like fuming on the other side looking at hayasaka and <laughs> kaguya hands over the phone to hayasaka and he, she's like do something i don't care what but do something and oh my god and <laughs> Here's where Shirogan is like, uh, you know what, like, you know, does this mean that you actually have fee, like, you know, he's going to say you actually have feelings for me. And as I, that's why I said, you know, this, this would have probably been the uh, final episode of this anime if Shirogan actually was able to, uh, you know, complete that and, you know, like, it, it won't, uh, went according to what he planned at that moment. It did not. So, yeah. Hayasaka saves the situation. She's like, oh, it, it's synced to the computers and it just gets automatically seen. You know, it's just on on the computers. So, yeah. And <laughs> that's how we do here in, like, you know, in our place. And <laughs> Shirogana just is de devastated. She's like, oh my god, did everyone read that? Okay. All right, uh, so here, here are the messages from President. I was trying to tell you something as you hung up the phone. Looks like tonight will get pretty cold, so stay warm when you go to sleep. Good night. Ultimate messages due to his impatience. Easy email. Oh my God. Yeah, so that's what was happening. And Eno's like, wait, why is she not answering me? Does she hate me? Chika, as always, and Shiroga, uh, uh, and uh, Ishigami is just staring blankly. And then there was a little section where Shinogane says the look on the face of someone who thoroughly explained line find and all but this cost pretty good too and got blank stares in return. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. That was the second part. The third part is the um, arm wrestling competition where uh, Chika at first tells Ishigami like oh you're so weak you know like you you you. you. <laughs> You can't even like you know carry these things, you know. I'm I'm a lot stronger than you, and you know I can like I I go jogging. I do this. I do that. You know like uh, like in like, you know you you are a uh, shut in neat. There's no way you're stronger than me. You don't have any muscle. All these kind of things she's just saying, and uh, she, Ishigami was also like, oh, is that right? You know like I don't believe you. Like they was kind of doing this back and forth, back and forth. So they kind of come to the decision that all right arm wrestling tournament that's what's going to happen not only us but everyone <laughs> now <laughs> so it starts with like obviously like shirogani was a little bit excited at that moment shirogani was, was wait a minute uh, arm wrestling means do we like you know do we have to hold hands or something <laughs> and like yeah, and then, okay, so first, the, the match that happens is Ishigami versus Kaguya. And obviously, I kind of, like, you know, everyone knew that Kaguya is going to win here. Because, you know, like, Kaguya seems pretty strong. I don't know why, but she seems pretty strong. Um, and obviously, Ishigami, as, like, you know, we kind of saw before, Ishigami is a lot weaker. So, yeah, we knew that uh, Kaguya is going to win here. At least, like you know, like I'm, I'm sure most of us knew because you know Ishigami was kind of trash talking her. He's like, oh, like you know, like I'm, I'm sure. What, what did he say? Like, where, where is that part? Um, she kind of. 
Oh, here we go. When Kaguya says that I am actually, my, you know, my left hand has more strength than the right one. And uh, when Chika asks, not Chika, sorry, uh, when uh, Shirogane, uh, Ishigami is asked, like, is it okay? Will, will left hand do? He says that, where is it? Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm fine with using my left hand. After all, I'm a man. She wouldn't be able to make a matchup out of it without a handicap. And yeah, that's where every one of us knew that yeah, she's going to lose because he's he's talking so big. <laughs> and Kage was pissed. I'm sure because of that, you know, he was he was just pissed. And that part was hilarious at that moment. I at first I did not understand what was happening. Both of them, like you know, like are they kind of just like starting the match and Ishigami that was like one of the most perfect visual representation of uh like an arm wrestling tournament where like you know someone has like overwhelming strength you see Ishigami just moving from one place to another you know and Kaga is just staying there which was like a visual representation of it seemed he put so much strength in it and it seemed like you know he kind of moved that much you know that's the amount of force he put but Kaga didn't even move i feel like that's like the best visual re representation of this situation that was amazingly done he just moves from that place and Kaga is just standing still and he's like ah oh, this is a rock <laughs> what is this and <laughs> You should see Kaguya pissed off completely and here they kind of explain how Kaguya is so strong because of the archery club and the bow Kaguya uses in the archery club has a draw weight of 15 kilogram. Oh my god. This is the same draw weight used by most male high school students. Furthermore, Kaguya has gained solid muscle mass in her left hand over the years. And there you go. That's why he, she picked the left hand. Because... <laughs> and yeah. And Shirogane, not Shirogane, sorry, Ishigami just loses. And yeah, there you go, Kaguya wins. <laughs> Chika puts on a loser, you know, thing on Ishigami and like starts clicking pictures. And uh, yeah, the next one is Chika versus Shirogane. Here I was kind of thinking what's going to happen, who's going to win. I was kind of, uh, like, you know, like, kind of trying to, you know, guess who's going to win because it was, it was like, it feels like a very, uh, like you know very uh, like you know uh, what do you call it like same um, both of them it seemed like both of them had same amount of strength so <clears throat> oh my god Kaga just giving <laughs> that stare across the like you know room when Chika was holding Shirogane's hand <laughs> oh my god okay um I realized what she was doing at that moment. Chika was kind of, you know, like doing this. She was adjusting, which we kind of get to know later on. And Kavias was just looking at her, like in that, like, you know, giving that stare. And yeah, both of them kind of, like, you know, are, it seems like it is, like, you know, very um, close. But since Kavias was observing it so properly, he, she says, like, okay, this actually gives Fujiwara a little bit of an advantage because he's, she's doing this, she's doing that blah 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 gives a technical like you know explanation of that whole situation and Chika is just embarrassed and Ishigami doesn't like you know doesn't <laughs> lose that chance he just says that all right Chika like you know like what were you saying before this uh, you know like <laughs> you're a cheater and just she's completely like you know her willpower is broken and just Ishigami wins and then the final match, Shirogane versus Kaguya. And uh, yeah, now obviously we knew what was happening at that moment. Uh, it seemed they were like, you know, doing so much, like, you know, like, uh, like, you know, uh, what do you call it? Just putting so much strength into the battle, just giving their 100%. And you know, like, there was like a Dragon Ball Z, uh, like, you know, section as well where they were showing how they were fighting. <laughs> but actual, in actuality, both of them were just putting moderate effort because you know they were holding hands you know like <laughs> so what actually happened is um 
uh, Kaguya, she was maintaining the position by exerting slightly more strength than her opponent. Shirogane intended to win the, in the end, but also determined that he had the upper hand anyway. So both of them were kind of like, you know, not giving their all. And Shirogane thought that, oh, I'm going to win by the end of it. So yeah, let's just, you know, like, let's just prolong this as much as we can. And Kaguya knew she was going to win. So, but she was like, all right, let me just put in a little bit effort so that I completely don't go down. That's what was happening. But obviously we knew who was stronger. Obviously it's Kaguya. Kaguya like, you know, did the, like, you know, archery and it's, it's apparent that she's going to win. So what actually, like, you know, completely ends the whole uh, tournament is when Kaguya realizes that his, her hand is sweating and it's going to go and, like, you know, like kind of like, come in contact with Shirogane. And obviously, like, you know, she doesn't want to embarrass her like that herself. So she just puts her everything and just completely destroys Shirogane. <laughs> And starts wiping off the sweat. So yeah, Princess Muscle. This that is the birth of Princess Muscle Kaguya. And uh, okay, uh, Chika kind of like you know makes fun of that situation. <laughs> She's like, we should call you Princess Muscle. And I don't know what the hell this was. Let me read this part. There's a lot of uh, like you know text that comes up suddenly. Once upon a time, there were people called elderly builders. They were plucked from gyms and made to compete in all kinds of tournaments. Among these builders was one whose muscles sparkled. Finding this strange, I moved closer and found that he was shining from inside his muscles. What? <laughs> Once I saw that, how powerful this tiny man seemed to me. I don't even know what that means. But is that like a plot of some anime or something? Anyone just starts clapping and there's like some muscular dudes popping up on the screen. <laughs> she kind of congratulates the muscle queen. And uh, yeah, um, Kage just is completely devastated. While in the background, uh, Shirogane, uh, not Shirogane, sorry, Ishigami and Chika start their own uh, match of arm, arm wrestling. Now, after the ending credits, we get a little bit of, uh, you know, like continuation as to what happened after that so what happened is let me see ishigami wins so how i don't understand this she's like my arm is broken how did he win like we saw before that the, the thing that she was unable to pick up and was struggling um chika was able to pick up so easily so shouldn't chika be more stronger i don't understand this part Chika's just screaming like my arm is broken. Shirogane just mortified. Ino just looking at Ishigami. Ishigami celebrating while Kaguya being devastated. And yeah, Muscle Queen wins. And that's where it ends. So fantastic start to this season. My god. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the upcoming episodes. The, the ending song, or I think that will, that will be the opening. Was obviously like sung by, I think, Masayuki Suzuki. That's his name. Um, the one who does the opening songs for Kaguya and yeah I'm so glad that it's him again and uh, yeah that was fantastic so that was it thanks for watching guys this was my reaction to Kaguya-sama Love is War uh, season 3 uh, ultra romantic episode number one so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out so that's it Thanks for watching and I will be back with another Kaguya Sama Love is War episode next week. And uh, yeah, see you guys then. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.